I uploaded every single day on YouTube Shorts for 30 days. It's hard not to notice how absolutely dominant vertical short form content has become. So I tried to take advantage of that. The deterioration of our minds by giving short form content a try. These 30 days of YouTube Shorts were a roller coaster of emotions. But I learned a lot, so I want to share that with you guys. I'll also reveal all the stats and analytics, including revealing how much money I made from this challenge. So after every single real job told me they were going to pursue other candidates, I decided to come back to YouTube. YouTube after two years of no uploads. My goal, get a silver 100k plaque by harnessing the power of short form content. And of the goal of subscribers, I needed one thing, views. It is not a big secret that views lead to subscribers. The more eyes are on your content, the more likely people are to hit the red button. So daily uploads seem like the best plan. A steady flow of content that would allow for as many opportunities for a viral video. Something which I would need if I wanted to get that plaque. Niche wise, I stuck with gaming set of videos. I did want to try out one new thing though, a challenge. The idea of someone trying to do something before the time runs out is exhilarating. So I decided to turn my YouTube comeback into a challenge. And I created a series called I tried to become a YouTuber in 100 days, a challenge where I try to hit 100k in 100 days. And I can make updates on the challenge and upload them as shorts. So these were the two types of videos I would make, gaming set of videos and challenge updates. Day one. So I started making my first video. I took everything I knew about short form content, which wasn't much at this point, and I created this. I'm becoming a YouTuber in 100 days. From the time I was a kid, I've had one dream to become a YouTuber. I was pretty happy with it, so I posted it. Keep in mind, I left YouTube in 2021 and everyone thought I had quit. So I was pretty nervous right after I clicked that publish button. I just posted on social media for the first time in about two years, and I'm literally shaking. And in the first 24 hours, my first short got 1,958 views. Obviously not the viral video I was hoping for, but it wasn't horrible. It obviously didn't do much to my subscriber count. I only gained about 53 subs, but it could have been worse. So I was somewhat happy. Day two. The day two short had a similar style to the day one short. Day two of becoming a YouTuber in 100 days. Let's talk social media strategy. With the 1,775 views in the first 24 hours. On day three, I tried something new and I made a gaming setup video. I love my gaming setup, but I haven't added anything in about two years and it performed even worse with only 660 views in the first 24 hours. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little demotivated, especially when I would go on my phone and go to YouTube Shorts and I would see a short of a cat meowing with 26 million views. So I sat down and I tried to figure out what I was doing wrong because I wasn't just getting unlucky, I had to be doing something wrong. The more we leveled up, we always get rewarded proportionally with views. It just is what it is. Like, the algorithm does a great job of rewarding great content. Mm. A company like YouTube has every incentive to promote good content. It wants you here on YouTube watching their ads, not on TikTok or Instagram. So its algorithm is going to try and find the best content. So my videos flopping weren't because YouTube hates me or because I hadn't figured out the algorithm yet. My videos simply weren't good enough. And if you don't know, the way YouTube measures the quality of the video is by this little thing called retention. Most people know this, but if you don't, retention is measured by AVD, which stands for average view duration, essentially the amount of the video that people watch. For example, right now, looking at my channel's AVD average, about 50% of the people who clicked on this video have already clicked off, left and gone and clicked one of those cool looking videos at the sidebar. So props to you for sticking with this. Your brain hasn't completely decayed yet. When people swipe away, that means low retention. But if everyone stays and watches the whole video, that means high retention. YouTube likes this, which means they push it out to more and more people. So how do you get retention? How do you get people's attention to watch all the way through? So besides just coming up with a good idea, here are some of the things I tried. Sound effects. These are your pops, wishes, and clock ticking. Sound is vital and can make boring moments exciting moments. George Lucas even once said sound is half the picture, which also means music. Picking trendy and popular songs that people recognize would lead them to keep watching. There's also jump cuts, zoom-ins, transitions, anything to keep that finger from doing that little swipe. Subtitles are a huge thing too. Since short form content has rotted our brains so much, we as a society have lost the ability to watch a piece of content without needing to read every single word. So I made sure to add subtitles, but not just ordinary subtitles, bouncy subtitles. You see, having the word appear is not enough. We need the word to get really big and then small really fast. 
Another thing I tried was call to action. Sometimes people have to be reminded to click that like button or click that subscribe button. Even adding an animation of someone hitting a subscribe button will, for some psychological reason, make people more likely to click the button themselves. So I used all this knowledge and implemented the strategies into my content. Day 4 through 15. The average view count for my first three days was 2,033. And for day 4 through 15, it was 2,926. Better. And my subscriber count went up by about 300 subscribers. Nothing crazy, but I could tell that the strategies I talked about earlier were definitely having a clear impact on the performance of the videos. Videos with lots of cuts, animations, sound effects typically performed better. I thought, what does AI think the ultimate gaming setup looks like? For for example, on this short, the average view duration was 106.1%. That means on average, people were watching the entire short and then watching part of it again. I was still so far away from my goal, but I genuinely felt like I was improving my short form content. I finally recorded my first video yesterday, which means today is editing day. Around here was when I started getting obsessed with something I'm calling the bump. You see, regular videos on YouTube have a view graph that looks like this. It goes up and up and up until it plateaus slowly. This is true about almost every single video. Even comparing my videos that have 4,000 views to those who have 400,000 views, the graph looks the exact same. But for shorts, the view graph looks like this. Completely different. And as someone who's only been making long form content for years, this amazed me. For every single one of my shorts, there would be this giant spike and then boom, flatline. The video would die. I figured out that during this period of massive growth, the short is promoted in something called the shorts shelf. Basically, when a short hits the shelf, it gets heavily promoted in the endless rotation of shorts. But it only stays there for one hour, and then it stops getting promoted completely. No matter the quality of the video, this would always happen to my shorts. But there's different variations of the bump. There's the single bump, the most common pattern. It hits the shelf once and then never again. The double bump, it's pretty rare, but sometimes YouTube likes to put the short on the short shelf again after removing it. And the no bump. And I got one of those on day eight when I uploaded cleaning my dirty gaming mouse pad. But it's so, I think it's time for a cleaning transformation. It never hit the short shelf. Heartbreaking. Day 15, something crazy happened on this day. The quintuple bump. Help me build my dream PC experience something that no other short I uploaded did. It hit the short shelf five times. I want to see a PC upgrade. And I think it'd be cool if I got one of those PCs that all the cool TikTok kids have now. This short instantly became my most viewed short with 12,323 views. And I got a small taste of what getting a successful short looks like. So I kept going, more motivated than ever. Day 16 through 29. I kept posting gaming set of videos, challenge updates, and I even made a tech review, trying to perfect every video to the best of my ability. Areas RTX 3070 Ti GPU. And my full length video got 4,300 views. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think the cable management on these can be improved a little bit. This is the DJI Osmo. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this monitor, but everything else is really cool. This is a gaming mystery box. I tried everything to fight for the most precious thing in 2023, your attention. Day 30, the challenge was over. And at the end of day 30, all my shorts added up, got a total of 67,146 views. And I gained around 600 subscribers. I failed by a lot. My challenge videos on average got 1,946 views, while my gaming set of videos got an average of 3,369 views. And here are all the stats for every video for those people who are interested, including how the videos performed on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Revenue-wise, I made $0.00. And zero cents. You see, my channel wasn't monetized for this whole challenge, but not on purpose. I was kicked out of the YouTube partner program when I quit YouTube for two years, and I just finally got let back in. But look, my goal of 100,000 subscribers was very ambitious, and I'm obviously not really happy with the result of this challenge, but I do feel really inspired. I'm gonna keep this thing going for a while longer. I'm only 40 days into the bigger 100 day challenge, so I'm gonna keep uploading daily YouTube shorts and we'll see what happens. But I do feel like I improved a lot during this challenge and I wanna keep learning. I wanna keep improving as a content creator to hopefully increase my viewership and maybe someday, maybe someday hit that 100,000 subscriber mark. 
we'll see. Peace.